Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. And today guys, I want to talk to you about the cost, the high cost of luxury watches. And I've been having a couple of days off, I just haven't had my mojo, so I'm hoping to get back in the groove. Um, I went to see a movie, Edith, Edith, the story of an 83 year old lady who uh, climbed this mountain in Scotland, Scotland. And uh, it was a cool movie. And uh, the, anyhow, the, the movie manager, he's a huge fan of the Archie Luxury channel. And he showed me in the, in the either corner, I'll put a picture, of his Rolex watch. And it's quite interesting. I was having a chat to him. And um, he actually has what you'd call a dream, a dream sort of Rolex, which a lot of people would, um, a lot of people would have an industrial accident with a Makita to obtain. He's got a Rolex Daytona, a Zenith Steel Daytona, and it gets better because he actually, he actually, not only is it a Steel Daytona, it is a black dial Steel Daytona with a Zenith movement. And he said, you know, this took him 10 years to save for it. And uh, I, I got to tell you guys, I got to tell you, I have had similar, similar things for myself. When I got my Calatrava in 2009, 2009, I remember when I got that, I had a small inheritance that came through, small inheritance, and I sold off. My Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I sold off my Breitling old Navi timer. And I also sold off my two-tone Datejust Rolex with diamond factory diamond dial. And then I used a bit of the inheritance to get my Calatrava. It was 12,250 US Smackaroonies. And... Uh, that was a lot of money. And I was talking to him about his, his Daytona. He bought it uh, about five years ago. He got it from uh, Vintage Watch Co. And uh, he's a Brisbane guy. And it was quite interesting. He said this watch here was about, I think he said it was 13 and a half Aussie. Okay, 13 and a half thousand dollars Aussie for this uh, Daytona. And he said, you know, he had to sell a lot off to get it. And I I think this is the thing. He said it was a 10-year struggle, 10-year struggle to get it. And I think so many people forget this on the YouTube, on the Facebook, on the Instagram. We're all buying watches. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're buying them like potatoes. But to a lot of us out there... The, these are very expensive purchases. I mean, it takes us a long time to get the readies, to get the bickies. And I think it's so easy to get caught up with this Instagram craze of billionaires who just buy whatever they like. They buy what they like. They don't really, they don't really have, you know, they don't have to scrimp and save and do all this shit. No, they just buy whatever the fuck they like. And, I mean, it's a different world. It's a different world to, to my world where everything is... It, it, it's, it's not so easy to do. Um, it's not It's not so easy. You just can't... You just can't buy whatever you want. You've got to... It, 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 it's... it's Wrist watches, quality wrist watches are damn expensive. They are really, really, really expensive. And I mean, to a lot of us, it, it's a big struggle. It's a big struggle. And um, I was talking to this guy. This is the guy who ran the movie theater. And uh, he was saying, he's saying, you know, it's a big struggle. He stopped buying because prices have gone crazy. On Rolex, they're just crazy. It's completely crazy. But he's got some nice pieces. He's, he's, he's hacked it out. He's got some dream pieces. This guy's got a steel black dial Zenith Daytona, and he's got an Amiga Speedmaster 321, a 321 movement speedy. And um, 
I gotta say, that is pretty damn fantastic. To have that is pretty, pretty cool. And, um, I, I gotta be honest, I, I think it's, um, I think it's a great way to go. I really do think it is a fantastic, you gotta take your time, build your collection slowly, but, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in this internet bullshit of quick, 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 we just buy, 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 we, oh yeah, we want, we want a Pepsi, we want a Hulk, we want a this, we want a that, Daytona, yeah, yeah, yeah. But to a lot of us, these are fucking expensive. They are very fucking expensive. So don't ever lose sight of the fact that to a lot of people out there, watches are extremely expensive. It's a big achievement to get these sort of luxury watches. They are not cheap. And I think in this day and age of Facebook and Instagram, we're all there bragging, yeah, 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 it's so, yeah, yeah. Got to this, got to that, and we lose sight that for a lot of the collectors there, myself included, it's fucking hard. It is fucking hard to get high-end luxury watches. It's a fucking struggle. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it really, really is a struggle there. You've got to get the money together. Then you got the wife. Oh, fuck. If, you got, if you're married, you're in a relationship, oh my God, can you imagine the dramas? You're in a relationship, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not looking at watches again. Oh, wah, 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 wah. And it's just a big hassle, man. It's just uncool and it's just not groovy. So uh, I'm a big fan, big, big, big fan of, uh, you know, building a collection slowly. I realize the struggle. I realize the struggle and it, it isn't always super quick and we, we don't always just, you know, we don't have mountains of cash to spend. we got to take it slowly. And I, I got a lot of respect for the collector who builds his collection slowly, takes 10 years to get a Daytona. I know the feeling, Sunshine. I know the feeling. I really do know the feeling. And um, we lose sight of this. I, I remember I got my Calatrava. Uh, that was twelve thousand two hundred and fifty U.S. dollars in in two thousand and nine. That's my five one oh seven. I I I was just oh that was so much money and um, I mean I you know it's it's gone up a lot. Yes yes you certainly won't buy them for that price. But you know it's the struggle. You had the struggle. You want the piece. You you collect these things. You love them. This is the whole thing. So um. Yeah, I, I, I got a lot of respect for people who who build, you know. I think in this hobby, we get so so caught up in Instagram and Facebook and yeah, 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 aren't we great? Aren't I clever? I got all this money, spend, spend. But to a lot of us, if you're a married guy with, with children and a spouse, it's fucking hard. <coughs> it's fucking hard to get these things. So never lose sight of the fact that it is a fucking expensive hobby so uh to all the people who've taken 10 years to get a, a dream piece i salute you that is <coughs> they are true enthusiasts that is real enthusiasts and um i i i really think someone who's who who, who goes through that journey is a true enthusiast and collector i'm archie luxury tell me what you think remember like subscribe tell your friends and put a few really nasty comments down below